survive on the ice. Most people can barely stay on their feet in a pair of skates, let alone flying up and down the ice handling a puck with a piece of wood. But imagine going blade to blade and blow for blow with a guy whose goal is to put you on your back counting lights. We tracked down a pair of guys who know what it takes to be the last man standing. Colt King, left winger, 6'2", 225. Scott Kellenchuk, defenseman for the Rapids City Rush, 6'1", 200 pounds. For different players, the goal of the fight is different. For guys like Colt King, it's about domination of his opponent. You've got to get a hold at... Guys take different approaches. They'll grab sleeves. Just so when Scott tries to throw, I got a little bit more of defense to try to hold his hand back. Me, personally, I like to grab it by the collar. And then this way, if he tries to throw his right hand, I could put my, you know, left arm up and bit, do a bit of a blocking. <laughs> Holding him up top here, I can kind of move him around a bit more, too, to kind of keep him off balance. For others, the quicker it gets to the ice, the better. I'm Con uh, Conrad Reader's size, and I'm fighting Kalachuk. Like, I'm going to be half his size, so, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be to my advantage to just get him off his feet because I'm not going to want to stand in exchange with him. So, I mean, for me, maybe just throw a quick couple and then get him down and end it as quick as possible. Unlike many of the other skills in the game, fighting on skates is one that's difficult to practice. Different players take different approaches. A lot of guys have different things that they do, and a lot of guys work on it in the summertime, you know, take box lessons or hit the bag, and do stuff like that. For me, I mean, I just tried to learn as I, as I went. Like, with anything, you start to calm down a bit. You know, okay, I'm getting in a fight here. Think about what you gotta do. It's almost like uh, animals growing up in the wild, where they spend their whole life play fighting, wrestling, and obviously it works out in the long run. Whereas in, you know, there might be a time of practice where a couple guys will goof around and drop the gloves. No, you don't never throw in any punches, of course, just kind of goof around, but grabbing onto each other and clutching with each other. And I feel like that does a lot more than actually simulating a real fight. I mean, to spend time back boxing and doing all that, I, th I feel is maybe even a waste of time because anybody can get anybody at any given time. Colton Company explain how fighting is used strategically in professional hockey coming up in the final installment of And in This Corner, The Sweet Science and the CHL tomorrow night on Black Hills Fox Sports at 9. More hockey for you now.